Alright, so starting with the setup I have here, a simple script. Um, just basically switches with a switch statement, which cast we want to do. This is just for testing, obviously. So you got overlap, overlap box, sphere cast, ray cast. So let's see what that looks like in the new uh, feature of the analysis. And then we go to physics debugger. And now we have these extra tabs here, but what the one we're interested in is the queries. Uh, you can see I already have everything checked off here. So we should be able to see the queries with the um, yellow lines here. So let's take a look. So we can see we're starting with a sphere cast. And pretty much it tells us exactly in which direction we're going. Now it's not changing because I have the simulation paused, but you can see as we switch the forward direction of the object, which is the direction of the cast, we can actually preview where approximately everything will hit. Um, and the great thing about it is you can tell from the distance as well. So if we increase, decrease distance, we can, we can already tell what's going to be hit and what's not going to be hit. Um, fortunately, it is not an animated one. It's not going to show you um, the, the time it takes between the beginning to the end. But you'll know that something will be hit just because it's in the path. So as you can see, we can do that with a sphere cast. We can do it with a box cast. We can do it with a regular ray cast. And we can also do it with our overlaps, which are probably not very impressive because they can just be drawn by regular gizmos. But it's still handy to have. Um, but the one most important, I think, is the, the sphere cast, since we couldn't earlier uh, be able to debug these. At least not without extensions and other means to manually draw these gizmos. So I think that's pretty cool and something worth uh, checking out. And, um, it'll definitely speed up your debugging process. Hopefully you found this useful and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.